गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ऑर्डिनरी एन्यूटी वी इन दैट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस दैट वेन द पेमेंट वॉज मेड और रिसीव्ड एट द एंड ऑफ द पीरियड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एन्यूटी ड्यू दैट वेन द पेमेंट विल बी मेड और रिसीव्ड एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द पीरियड इट सेल्फ सो एज वी आर अवेयर दैट फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द value of an annuity due ordinary annuity we have seen that the payment will be made or received at the end of the payment period but here in due the annuity plan where the payments are being made or received at the beginning of the each payment period again we have to take up the two concept the future value of annuity and the present value of annuity and with the help of this equation this formula that we can say this formula is going to help us in calculating the future value of annuity r as you are aware is the amount of the installment small r is the rate of interest and this equation can be used because when we say about the future value it means the interest upon interest that means we are able to receive the interest on the accrued interest itself that means the compounding itself that is why we have 1 plus r concept and when we calculate the present value of annuity then it is a discounting value it is discounting value and that is why the equation will be written in this form these two concept of the present value and the future value we can discuss with the help of example also but before that we will try to discuss that how we can differentiate between annuity ordinary annuity and annuity due differentiate different between suppose i have taken a concept a sum of rupee hundred is being payable at the end of each year for three years at the rate of interest eight percent. The same concept ordinary ordinary annuity and an uh, annuity due. What happens in ordinary annuity that as the amount is being hundred for three years at eight percent, then the first payment will be at the end of first year. Second at the end of second year and third will be at the end of third year but in the case of annuity due in the beginning of the zero year itself in the beginning of the first year and third payment will be at the beginning of the second year amount of annuity due will become payable at the end of third year and this will remain with annuity due also what ha means happening that first installment will earn interest for two years because second year and third year second installment will earn the interest for one year only third year and there will be no interest on the third installment and reverse of that the first installment will earn an interest for three years because we are having the amount in the beginning so next for three years first year second year and third year second installment for two years and third installment for one year and if we try to calculate the value of annuity with respect to ordinary it will come to as 324.40 paisa if 100 rupee for 3 years at 8% and as per the entity due it will be 350.60 or 61 that means this example i have written so that to show you that the value of entity due will always be more than ordinary entity because in ordinary entity we are receiving or pay making the payment at the end of the first year and here at the beginning of the first year itself we can also take up an example we can also take up an example here itself so we take up the example with respect to future annuity as well as present annuity first of all regarding the future annuity here is find the amount when we say find amount it means we are trying to calculate about the future amount of entity due created by depositing rupees 1800 at the beginning of each three month period paying 8% per annum compounded quarterly for 15 years here we are saying quarterly for 15 years monthly here we are having three month period and quarterly for 15 years so r is the installment amount that is 1800 small r that is the rate of interest it is 8% but as we are having the quarterly interest so 8% divided by 4, it will be 0 0.02 and N will be 15 years 
and we are having four quarters in a year that make uh, n will be 60. So in this way, we try to put these values in the equation itself and we are able to receive the value of future value of n t itself. With concept of the present annuity, another example, we have to find out the present value of annuity of rupees is 25,000 pay bill at the beginning. There it was at the end of the first year. And here we can say at the beginning itself. Both are at the beginning itself because we are having the annuity D concept for 10 years. Rate of interest is 5% compounded. The value of 1.05 to the power minus 9 is being provided to us. We have to just put the value. R is 25,000. N is 10 and rate of interest is given as 5%. When we put these values in the equation, we are able to find out the present value of NUT. So in this way, we can say that what you have to do, that you have to keep in mind, you have to keep in mind that NUT due means where the payment will be received or made at the beginning of the each period. And the value of NUT due will always be more than the ordinary NUT as we have seen in the difference also. And these two equations, these two equations will be used for calculating the future value entity as well as the present value entity. So I hope the concept with respect to NUT is understood to all of you. In the last video, we have discussed about the ordinary entity and in this video about the NUT, right? Okay, thank you all of you.